Welcome to Mark Smolder Sports and Farming Channel. This video is the December 2020 channel update. Uh, and I, I'll start with Smolder Sports. Just a, um, go along with the channel name, but. Uh, there were supposed to be a couple of snow cross races dur during the month of December. Uh, one, you know, the, today's December 14th, so one would have happened already, and, and the other one was set to happen later this week. So, but uh, the recent round of restrictions that Minnesota's governor put in place prevented those races from happening so so unfortunately I I cannot get you any snow cross footage just yet but uh, but uh, the facility that, that the majority of them are happening at you know is looking to start start hosting those races in January. So so hopefully by the time I do the next update video and then I will have either film the race or or it'll be close close to when when a race happens. So So yeah. Stay tuned for new further news about snow cross races. You know, that's all I can say right now. Cause like I say the Minnesota's governor, you know, put some restrictions in place before Thanksgiving that prevented anything like that from happening. But uh, it would be ideal if, if those restrictions would get lifted, and then you know, so it, so it doesn't interfere with snow cross races that happen next month or throughout the rest of the winter. But, uh, what, we're, what we're being told is that, is that the governor will make an official announcement in a couple of days. Because he, he wants to see as much coronavirus dead as he as he can you know before making that announcement as to whether he'll whether he'll he'll uh, continue imposing the, the restrictions that he did or not because because the, the way it currently stands you know, those restrictions are, are going to expire at the end of this week, but... Like I say, you know, those of us that are in Minnesota will, will know for sure in a couple of days from from what I've heard last, you know, that, you know, whether, whether he's going to extend that or not. And depending on what he decides, you know, that, that could also jeopardize the snow cross races uh, for January, even. Because he knows, like the rest of us do, you know, that those of us in whether it's Minnesota or any sort of, the, any sort of uh, 
northern state of the country that you know temperatures are are cooler versus the other the other three seasons and that they that pe people want to spend more time inside because of that so so yeah like I say just stay tuned for any further news about snow cross racing and then as of now there's you know the ice races that, I, that I've been filming the last couple of years are set to take place during the month of February and uh, and uh, I'd, I mentioned in can't, can't remember if it was September 2020 or October 2020 those channel update videos one of them or maybe even both that I had inquired a, a vehicle that I could possibly race there well the the sad news is as of now I I don't have a racing vehicle to speak of as a the one that I was that I was thinking of racing uh, I, mean, I, I tried to start it and you know and I did get it to turn over a little bit but I ain't up to start so I mean I'm, I'd be better off just to get rid of it and you know rather than you know in other words it doesn't pay for me to put any more time into it you know there is a slight chance I may still be able to come across something for that, but but as of now I, I do not have anything to race with, you know, but at minimum I, I will still go and and record them for you, for you guys to see. You know, the, the different you know, classes and heat races, feature races, you know, just like I did in 2019 and 2018. Or, or no, take that back, 2020 and 2019. Yeah, basically the, the last two Februarys that, that, they've, that they've been held. <clears throat> yeah, I... I was there in 2018, but but I I didn't record them because because I didn't have this channel at that time yet. So now on to the farming. Uh, I think one, one thing that I forgot to mention for sure in, in the November 2020 video and maybe even the October 2020 video is that the reason these pallets are laying against a fence like this is because you know we were able to sell all of the firewood that we made last season before Halloween you know which I didn't necessarily think that that would happen but you know my dad thought that we should do a, start doing our advertising in September because of how much we had but you know surprisingly you know they just kept coming and coming and you know within you know six weeks to six weeks to two months time you know we were able to sell it all so so yeah what you see here is brand new firewood you know last couple weeks or so we you know we've been working on making firewood again so uh, this stuff here was, you know, this fir very first stuff here was uh, stuff that we had cut up this past spring, but that but that never got split and stacked up. So 
that's part of you know why you're seeing you know less color on this than than you are in a lot of the rest of this. It's, We we just use that to start the new inventory of firewood that that we can sell. So uh, so yeah, these, these last couple of weeks, especially, we've been making a lot of progress and on getting firewood made. You know, to to sell this upcoming fall. You know, fall of 2021. And uh, as of now, we're we're close. To where we have about 14 cords worth that that we made, give or take. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit in the back row, you know, that were up here. Pretty pretty much fill it, I think. But, but yeah, I guess it's. And uh, I, I know that, you know, uh, last year, or the spring, in the update videos, I kept, you know, I kept thinking we'd, we'd have 25 to 30 cores, but I guess in the end, you know, the, the rows don't add up to quite as much as, as we first thought they did, so. Yeah, to, to say that we're awfully close to having 14, you know, should be pretty accurate. But, uh, yeah, we've certainly made a lot, a lot of progress, you know, in this. And most of what you're seeing here is since the November 2020 update video was done. Of course, that video, I don't think I talked about firewood at all, but... I thought I'd better point that out this time. Um, how much progress we've made for the next round of firewood sales. And uh, on that same note, uh, you know, I'll show you guys when, when I get down there. But but the the island of trees, I. That I've been referencing up up until now is pretty much gone. So, so uh, mo most of what we've been making, if not all, is you know still in that area, but or near that area, but just. But, but yeah, the island of trees I, I kept talking about, that I've been talking about so far is pretty much done. You know, we, we made the last of it this, this fall, and that's part of the stack that you just saw. And then, uh, so yeah, as far, as far as farming goes now, uh, I would say that the crops were all off when I made the November 2020 update video. And, uh, and yeah, now it's, now it's a matter of, you know, getting different things settled and so we can start planning for the 2021 season and on that note you know as far as the corn and soybeans go I mean I I submitted my my loss my losses you know my yield losses into the crop insurance company and I mean the wheat they just you know, they didn't fuss at all, you know, in, in any sort of way, you know, they just, you 
I said, okay. They kind of just said, you know, okay, you know, and then, and then they paid me off and deducted that amount of money from what I would have otherwise owed them. Whereas the corn and beans, I mean, I've certainly never been asked to provide the type of documentation that they've been asking for this year. So, I mean, in other words, they're pretty much jacking me around on it. And, you know, I, I should have gotten a check in the mail by now for that, but as of now, I haven't. You know, I've, <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I, I won't go in, into any more detail than that, but. But as far as that and how it applies to the 2021 season. I'm actually kind of leaning towards, you know, putting all of the tillable land that, that I have into spring wheat just because, you know, like I, like I just got done talking about, you know, I, they didn't jack me around on that, whereas they have been with the, with the corn and soybeans this year, so... So, on that note, it, it may end up being the best thing in the end. You know, just said, take a break from raising corn and soybeans and, you know, have all spring wheat. But, I mean, I know that would that'd probably take me a week and a half or so to seed that many, get that many acres seeded, but, but in the end, that, that may still end up being the better way to go but yeah here here is part of our firewood project and this is what we've been working on you know and you see the you know the white that you're seeing there is is the is the river that runs along the runs along the property and yeah Went this out first, you know, because this, this is the island of trees that they referenced in, in all the other videos. But like I say, we, like I said earlier in this video, we we got the last of that done, and and that's part of that stack that you saw earlier earlier in the video. Yeah, we, the trees that we've been working on now are ones that are, you know, along, you know, they're closer, they're, they're more river fried type trees, so to speak. <laughs> Cause I guess I don't know how else to describe that, but, but yeah, they're, they're along the river bank, but yet, but yeah, they still shade shade the tillable ground that I'm walking on now. So yeah, they we we just knocked these down or cut them down uh, last night or yesterday afternoon. It is a little chilly here, but so yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you know how soon any of us will will get to will get to these trees that are down right now, but but sometime this week for sure we'll we'll work on them because. And like I say, it, it is a little bit on the on the chilly side today, which is basically typical weather for the month of De for the month of December. But the way it sounds, is that you know, 
temperature temperatures are, are uh, supposed to warm up a little bit later in the week. So then. We may still work on them a little bit, you know, tomorrow or, you know, before the warm-up starts, but... So yeah, we'll, we'll keep making progress there. Because my, my brother is hoping to have the, have the, uh, stack of, uh, the area that we stack, and we, my brother's hoping to have that completely full while the calendar still says 2020. So, whether that'll happen or not, I, I don't know, but that's what he'd like to see. And, yeah. The reason they gave for that was because of the white shit, which <laughs> I certainly don't blame them so much on that, it, you know, where it ends up getting us all wet in the end and different things, so, but, so yeah, I mean, that, that's one area where, where we've been pretty lucky this year, is, you know, that's just the dust thing you're seeing now. Here's something, you know, in here that that's ongoing, that you know, that's in progress, and that we haven't finished yet. But the last couple of days that that my dad ran the four-wheel drive, we ended up having the outside duel here go flat. So we we started you know, I can get this on here but but uh I'm seeing what's if I can show from the camera what what we've run into. So that you know you notice how, how big of a gap there is here versus how little of a gap there is here. So now we're, what we're looking for a way to do it is it is a shift it shift the tire so that you know so that the weight can hopefully set into these pieces enough to to where, to where it'll even out the gap and then, then we can get the remaining four of these things in there you know to, to have it completely secure so that we can use it. Yeah, if you guys have, I guess if you guys have any ideas of how we can do that without taking some of them out that we've already put in, just because they, they can be that tricky, then, then be sure to leave that in the comment section below. And the other thing being, or that I can point out, that this hay rack had had a lot more hay on. You know when it first got in here, so, so I mean, it's, <laughs> in, a, in a sense, it would be nice to to be showing you an empty hay rack right now, but obviously that's not the case, and you know, for some reason, you know. He hasn't been as 
hot of a commodity as it as it should be, or at least with the small square bales. Yeah. But yeah, I've been trying to, you know, hit, hit that right time with it, and and then there's an we've got another one back here that that our four wheel drive would be currently blocking as far as you know trying to get it back out once it's empty. But Yeah, the, this is the third crop alfalfa mix here. Then that I'm showing you on this on this hay rack that you know, I, I did a video on that this summer, and, and then if if I can, I'll I'll put a link to that video as a point of reference. But, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get this in, in one trip, and then she'll also be able to get this stuff off of the other hay rack in one trip. I have not looked into, you know, any sort of equipment upgrades just yet. Because, like I talked about earlier in this video, and when they, you know, finally have the have my claim settled with the crop insurance for for the yield loss, you know. Before I look into something like that any further, and uh, also hinging on that, for that matter, would be you know any chance of me picking up any more land to run for 2021. You know, it's, I probably wouldn't be able to afford to rent any more ground if you know if I, if I don't get, get a settlement on, on that insurance claim. So, yeah, the, yeah I haven't talked about cattle all that much in any of my videos. But there's five head in, in this pen here, and then then that then that was part of the group that that I got the spring and that and I featured in the video that I did of I believe it's called you know, my 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 cattle shopping adventure. And, I mean, don't quote me on that for sure, but it, I think I call it something of that nature. And, you know, I basically took you along as much as I can as far as uh, weaving the yard and what what there was to pick from once I got there, and then and then after I got them bought, then I pointed out. You know the the loading setup that that's at that sale barn, and then then I came back home, and you know the end of that video showed them coming off of my trailer, and you know they, they actually went into that pen at first, but you know I, that pen I used for you know getting them started, and then they come into here on once or. On green, I should say, you know, and, you know, you, you want to slowly, slowly uh, get them, get them used to the green, and then, and then one, once they're at the point where they can, you know, handle all they want, then they come into this pen. So, yeah, 
But yeah, you know, um, there is an there is a few a few other cattle in the other pen. Come around here and show that. But yeah, at first I I thought I might be might be having to you know send those five head over to market today rather than rather than being able to do this video but and this video will have gotten done I just you know, didn't know if I'd you know what day for sure I, I was going to be able to do it but, but yeah I, I do still have a you know, folks with you know freezers, you know, where they can handle, you know, a half or a quarter of beef, and then that that's what these three are gonna are gonna be for. Uh, and, but yeah, once. Once those, once those over there are gone, then then I can move these three into that pen because they're they're pretty much eating all they want too. So and uh, I was gonna try and do a little bit of an experiment with you know I've got a pretty good sized gate up against that fence over there. You know. It's, I was gonna see if see if I couldn't make two two pens out of this one for a temporary basis and you know see if this pen you know see if it won't work that way for you know to have this pen set up to to accommodate a, a third group of cattle or not I mean probably not. I'm guessing not permanently, but, but, you know, maybe for, for like a month's time or less. So yeah, it's, sometime this week I'll, I'll try and, you know, see, see if I can get that big, uh, big gate up, up by that fence moved and, you know, see, see if, see if these three, these three can, Get to the watering system from from both sides of it or not, and then if it doesn't work. It doesn't work, I guess. But but like I say, it's more more of an experiment right now. And the reason for that is because. You know, uh, and I'm not sure how to explain this right now, but we yeah, there well, okay, I guess it, there there would be a chance that you know, you know something fairly inexpensive could could come up for sale, you know, but and then and if I'm able to like, create a third third pen by you know being able to successfully in every way, you know, split that one pen up into two. You know, then then I'd be able to then I might be able to take advantage of you know a low holiday market and that's why I was told you know to you know not to not to haul those five headed in the market right now is because 
you know, because of the, you know, there's enough, you know, buyers in the holiday mood, so to speak, and, you know, prices will, will probably be down a little for, for the rest of the month, whereas, you know, January, they're, they might be more interested in beef again, so then, so then the price should go back up. Yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much all I know of right now. So, uh, just stay tuned to the channel for, you know, news of any sort, you know, per pertaining to content. And, uh, I guess one more quick thing on, on that note is... Some of you may have, may have seen that I was able to film a hay auction about me. Has it been 10 days? No, it'd be, it'd be 9 days ago. You know, I was able to film that, and so I'll be able to keep bringing, bringing you that content whenever it'll. Hay sales happen, and then uh, there was a second sale that I did some filming at, but but I guess you know the guy that's in charge of that one opted not to continue with that one. Is the way it sounds. So so. With that, uh, just stay tuned to the channel for any sort of news regarding content. And with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Be sure to click on the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button, and then... Once you're subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell. Then you'll get notified whenever a new video gets posted to the channel. Be sure to follow Mark's Motorsports and Farming Channel on Facebook as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later.